Hello there, what's up? Welcome to the channel, my name is Chaus and if you are struggling to lose weight on a plant-based diet or really any diet and you want to learn how to get your habits in check and what to eat for weight loss, then this is the channel for you. Today I'm going to be making one of my absolute favourite recipes. It is super warming and comforting, this is like the ultimate comfort food. It's winter here in New Zealand as you can see, kind of rugged up and yeah, this is like, it's a soup, it's a chowder. It has got leek and fennel and corn and it's creamy, it's delicious. Let's get into making it, but honestly, I would make this at any time of year because it's just that good, but especially good for winter. So I'm gonna be making this meal in the pressure cooker, but I'm not gonna be using the pressure cooker setting. I just like to use my pressure cooker as a big pot. So if you don't have a pressure cooker, just use a big pot. Need fennel, red kumara, carrot, parsnip, onion, and a big leek. <laughs> Let's get started with chopping the leek. Okay, so I'm going, I'm going to put this on to saute mode, which is basically just, just cooking it. And I'm going to put my garlic onion in. And garlic. the pot as well one of the things that I think really makes this dish is cutting the vegetables into thin slices and it just gives it a really interesting texture so make sure when you're cooking that that you do that to try and get the best out of this recipe So I was trying to film this video with natural light because I hate, I just hate how videos look when I've got the light on but it's just gotten too dark, it's getting dark really early because it is winter here. Um, I would love to hear in the comments, do you care? Is this something that you even notice in videos? <laughs> Am I just being like really pedantic about this kind of thing? I want to hear your thoughts on that. So the mixture is just cooking away here, just sweating up and what I'm going to do is add a generous pinch of salt because you want it to sweat while it's cooking. Just like that. About this much chili. Just a I small bit. Yeah. Put these in. <laughs>
wurde so fett zu beteiligen. Show your wiggly tooth. Already one came out. You see? Smile. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Can I pull it out? Uh. Maybe later? Yeah. And when you're looking, look there, okay? That's, that's where to look. In there. Okay. So with this soup, you kind of want it to get a little bit browned and just kind of brown the bottom as you're cooking it. So it doesn't matter if it is sticking, just give it a mix every little while. And as those veggies are sweating, they're just taking in some of that salt. They're getting really tasty and a little bit of browning on the bottom just adds to the flavor as well. Okay, you can see that this is soft now, some of it's mushy. Um, I'm just um, deglazing the pan and I'm going to add quite a lot of water to this because it's pretty much done. So, going to add a couple of cups of water for now. And just let that sit for a second. To be honest, I'm actually going to turn this off now. So what I'm going to do now is make up a little bit of like a cashew kind of milk to make it a little bit creamy and I'm just going to add like a little handful to my blender. You could also use soy milk. Um, the thing about soy milk, make sure you add at the very very end otherwise it will uh, curdle a little bit. Soy milk tends to curdle when it gets too hot. So I'm going to put in two handfuls. About this much cashew, so not very much. I'm gonna blend this up with a little bit of water to put in to that. So we're gonna add all of the final ingredients. So I forgot to add when I was making this soup a crucial ingredient and that is dulse flakes or any kind of dulse or even like a little bit of nori seaweed if you have it because it's going to give it a kind of umami uh, like slightly fishy taste but in a good way uh, which because chowder normally does have fish in it so if you have that don't forget to add it it's going to bring it up to the next level and I just add probably about a tablespoon of those dulse flakes or between like a teaspoon and a tablespoon. Actually, I'm going to say a teaspoon to be on the safe side because it is quite strong. A teaspoon is going to just give it that extra. Okay, so it's pretty much done just now. And as you can see, that's super easy. I'm going to give it a bit of a taste test and add some salt and pepper if it needs it. A little bit more salt. Putting in that cold water at the end and not heating up. Um, the like the corn and stuff like that means that it actually cools down a lot quicker which is nice for when you want to serve kids mm. tastes pretty good mm. thank you mom put the tail right there mm. 
them. Like that? Yep. It's delicious, Mom. Okay, so it's time for the taste test and I love just putting like a little dollop of hummus on my soup. I just feel like it just takes it to the next level and I added some coriander because I had no more parsley, but normally I put more parsley on top, chili flakes and pepper. All right, let's, let's do this. That's what it looks like. Mmm. That is so, so good. It is such a simple recipe and what it's flavoured with, with just the salt, the lemon, um, the corn in there. And it's just, it's really just a taste from the vegetables. I did put a little bit of that um, veggie stock powder, which I feel like brings it to another level. Um, but if you don't have that, you can use some liquid veggie stock as well. I mean, honestly, you can find powdered veggie stock. This is not just a Kiwi thing. It is everywhere. You just might have to look a little bit for it. I'm going to go and enjoy this. This is a fantastic meal. Let me know if you make this. I would love to see it on Instagram. This is such a requested meal. Like I always show a story of me making this and people are like, just give me the recipe. Like I really want the recipe. So it's finally here. So let me know if you are stoked about that. And I will see you next week for another video. All right. That's it. Bye.